everybody. Happy Lord's Day. Let's see if I can find us. I hope you're having a wonderful day. It is hot here. Ugh. We're not used to 80 degree weather, which I shouldn't complain. I know a lot of you guys are in the hundreds, so let's see, where are we? Are we there? Looks like we're live, but I don't see us. There we are. There we are. I don't see us there. Let me get you guys a pin post. Hello, Wanda. Hey, Alyssa and Tammy and Kathy. How are you guys? Hang on just a sec. I'm going to pin a post here. All right, quick like. I'm getting faster at this. Okay, don't need to turn it twice. Okay, paste. All right. Yay! Okay. Hey, hey, hey! Oh my goodness, so I have just been doing laundry and I finished those, um, I'm finishing up those, um, those lamp posts that I made yesterday that I was working on, so I was finishing the second one. Hello Sherry, how are you? Thanks for coming guys. Hey Linda, how you doing? Good to see you. Welcome everyone. So welcome to Diane's Designs and Boutique. I'm Diane Small, the owner of Diane's Designs and Boutique, and we're in Oak Harbor, Washington, which is way up in the great Pacific Northwest. And here we love to make all kinds of beautiful home decor and incorporate our amazing Chalk Couture products in it. So um, today we're gonna go Halloween. So we're gonna make, well, I guess, we're gonna make a little pumpkin and we're gonna make a haunted house. So I thought that would be fun. Hey, Judy and Lisa and Anne's in the house. Okay, let me just put these aside for a sec. Oh, gonna need black first. So we are gonna do a little, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna decoupage the roof with this sugar skull. How fun is that gonna be? That's gonna be fun. So we need to get some decoupage glue. So what I did, guys, these are our little gift tags. So you get a pack of six of these. Um, and so what I did is I just cut off the top part of it and I cut it down the middle. And that's how I'm gonna make my slats for my roof, okay? So I just took one of our tags and cut it up to make our roof slats. So we're going to grab some decoupage glue and I'm gonna pull you guys down, closer, closer. Grab a brush or two. So they're easily accessible. Get my water up here. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good, I think we're good. Okay, let's pull you guys down closer. You can see what we is doing. How's that? Hey Stacy and Becky, how are you guys? This thing is still doing the weird thing on comments that I have to like go out and come back in for it to show me comments. 
So I see Kathy saying hello and Linda saying hello. Cool. Hello, Charlene. So I've just got some decoupage glue here, guys. And all I'm going to do is just take a brush and brush the decoupage glue onto these little tiles. Oops, I got that way higher than I wanted to because I want to decoupage these with the sugar skull. So I'm just going to put a layer of glue down and let it dry. What have you guys all been doing today? Are you having a relaxing Sunday? I hope you are. Hey, hey, Katie, how are you? Good to see you, girl. What you been up to? I'm telling you guys, there just is not enough hours in the day to get everything done you wanna get done. It's crazy. Okay, so I'm gonna need this brush again. So I'm not gonna put it in my water to clean it. I'm just going to grab a baby wipe and just wet it down so my glue does not dry in my brush and I'm gonna set it aside until I need it again. So we'll let those dry. And in the meantime, we're going to do some painting so we've got our little house cut out. So these come in a pack of two, you guys, um, and they're $12.99. And I'm gonna use one of our little egg cutouts, too. These are not available right now. I do have some, but um, they um, are paused because they're for Easter. So, um, but I do have a few sets of these. So there will be bundles in, if you're not in our Charming Chalk Art VIP group, um, make sure you ask to go in there because that's where we do all kinds of live sales and promotions. Um, I am gonna start doing some live sales on this main page um, sometime next week. So uh, keep your eyes peeled for that. But when I do kits and bundles and things like that, I usually do them only in my VIP group, so make sure you're in there. So um, we are gonna do some painting with our chalk paste. So I've got some black chalk paste. I'm gonna get one of our little trays, and we're gonna paint this house black because we're going, we're going Halloween, Halloween. We're also gonna paint the egg I'm gonna need a couple of trays for that. Try to get organized here. Hey Connie, how are you? Good to see you. Okay, so all I'm gonna do is take some of my black paste, get a little scooper thing here, and I'm gonna put some black paste in my little dish here. These are our color trays. You get 24 in a package. You'll find them on the website, charmingchalkart.com. And you'll find them under accessories. Hey Sue, how are you? Hey Stony Stone, what you guys up to? Good to see you. Okay, so I'm gonna just take a bigger, I'm gonna just get this one. So I'm gonna add water to my dish. And we're going to turn this into paint so I can paint my house. So somebody was saying that um, it's hard to find paint these days. Sony, I know y'all, you and Michelle got a bunch. I saw you on live the other day with all those paint things you had, that was cool. Okay, so we're gonna paint our house black. So this is gonna be a haunted house. So I'm just using our chalk paste to paint our house. So you can do like watercolor effects with our paste. You just wet it down, make it watery, but it still dries quickly, it covers great.
Who knew? You can even paint with chalk couture. I sh you know, we can just do everything with chalk couture. It's just amazing. Hey, Joyce, how you feeling today? Good, I hope. good coat on there and I'm gonna grab the sides get those painted and we'll paint the bottom Hello, Connie and Robin and Carol. Carol Ann's in the house and Jan. Hi, guys. Yes, I saw that you have plenty, Stoney. That's awesome. <laughs> I'm so excited for you guys in your store. So cool. Okay, so I'm not going to paint the rooftop part because we're going to do a different, do something different for the roof. So, but if you didn't have tags, I would say to paint this part of the roof also. Okay, so we're gonna let that dry. And I'm gonna clean my brush. I remembered to bring water in here this time, guys. I remembered, I remembered. Okay, so we're gonna paint our pumpkin. And we're going to use orange. And we're gonna do the same thing. We're just gonna put a little paste in our I probably don't need near that much. I always mix more than I need, although I did pretty good on the black. Oh, I'm glad you're doing good, Joyce. I'm glad. Hello, Kit. One of my high school classmates is on here. Hey, Lisa. How are you doing? Okay, let me grab another brush kind of big but that's okay we'll use it oh here's one I'll use this one I'll use this one so again I'm gonna put some water in my dish and just start mixing up my paint and then we will paint our we're gonna turn this Easter egg into a pumpkin. I think I'm gonna add a little bit more orange in there. It's a little too opaque. So if it's if it's not opaque enough for you, just add more paste. And that will fix it right up. Sometimes it can be a little tricky getting that water to paste ratio that you want. But I could tell when I was painting it that it wasn't going to be quite as opaque as I wanted it. So I'm just going to kind of go like this like a pumpkin would be to have those ridges because as I drag my brush it's going to put those ridges in it. Just to kind of get that going. Okay, let's go ahead and get our sides. Lisa's doing well, tired. Had an end of summer party with the grandkids. Oh, that'll wear you out. <laughs> I bet you did have a blast. Hey, Norma and Francis and Sally. How are you guys? Elaine, hello. Thanks for being here, guys. If you wouldn't mind sprinkling, I would appreciate it. The sprinkle word today is going to be Halloween. So if you sprinkle the video, come back and put the word Halloween, just Halloween. So that I can find you easily to add you to the sprinkle drawing. I'm going to 
try to keep my fingers out of this, but you know, y'all should take side bets on whether that's really going to happen. Okay, I should probably just set that down and let it dry before I paint anymore. Oh, dang. Okay, let's see. All right, we got our house, that's almost dry. Those are drying, so I think it's time to give the drying an assist. So we're gonna get the old heat gun out. The water side was a big hit to say the least. I bet. We have a little uh, water park here in Oak Harbor, but it's not open because, you know, they don't want people gathering. So when the grandbabies come over, we put the sprinkler on, they run through the sprinkler. I remember that's all we had as a kid. We had one of those little plastic, little, little small swimming pools and we ran through the sprinkler. quickly. Uh, thanks for the sprinkle joys. Appreciate you. Alex and baby are doing well. Ophelia is so cute and so chubby and very happy, but Alex, they've got their hands full with a, well, she's six months old to today. Yeah, six months old today. So between Lucian and Ophelia and work, they just are busy, busy, busy. So I will tell her you asked though, Sue. She keeps, we're, we've all talked about her and myself and Ashley that we need to do a live one weekend with all of us. Oh, you rented it? <laughs> yeah, they're expensive to rent for sure, but I'm sure it was all worth it as much fun as everybody had. Hey, Lourdes, how are you? Happy Lord's Day. Oh, thanks for the blessing. appreciate you. I'll put your name in the list, Lourdes. Just type the word Halloween. Anybody that sprinkles, please uh, type the word Halloween so I know who you are. I can go back and put you in the little drawing. Oh, thanks for the thumbs up, guys. Okay, I think that's dry. Okay, that's dry. Let's see if we can get this. Well, see, I stuck my finger in it. So like with the houses and stuff, you could do one side Halloween and one side fall. That would be really cute. And then you can just flip it around. I'm all about twofers, you know? But thanks for the sprinkle, Sue. Appreciate you. Make the baby daddies keep the babies or be there to help. Yep, and they will. They're, the guys are amazing um, and a lot of help when we're, we want to come live. So it's really great. So we are trying to get that planned. Alex misses everybody, misses seeing everybody. Okay, so I'm going to click like a bunny. So this one we are going to do both sides the same.
set that down and let that start getting dry. And now we can do our roof. I'm done with that. We're going to do some highlighting on our little pumpkin with some brown once that gets dry. So let me get out my little Hot up the craft iron. We'll just use the craft iron today. Since it's such a small project, I'm going to find my little stand though. Thanks for the sprinkle, girl. All right, let's get this plugged in and let that get it hotted up and we'll work on our house. Okay. Helps if you turn it on. Forget to check that, guys. If I turned it on, okay. Okay, so we're going to use our house cutouts and last year's um, Halloween minis to do this house. So just because it's a house pattern that looks like it's every day, you can make it whatever you want. So we're going to use our house pattern. Get it open here. So if you're new to seeing Chalk Couture, this is what Chalk Couture is. It is chalk style paste, beautiful silk transfers. We also have ink that we use on fabric. And with their reusable silk transfers, you can reuse them eight to 12 times, depending on how you take care of them. So we're gonna put a house on here. We're gonna put a door on here. Keep my fuzzing cloth. You can't hear me very well? I'll speak up, is that better? Hey Wanda, thanks for the sprinkle. Thank you, thank you. I will try to speak up. Usually y'all can hear me pretty good. Okay, so we're gonna do a little door. We'll put our door off to the side. So I'm just sticking our transfer down. I think we'll find some of our windows. So this transfer has a lot of different patterns on it. Four different house patterns that fit the, um, the pattern of the house. So you can put patterns on there. It's got um, hearts and it says family and home sweet home. And then love makes our house a home plus the doors and the windows. So it's got lots of pieces to it. It's a size D transfer. It is $29.99. And again, you can use it eight to 12 times. I have many, I've used way more than that. And I think we'll do some round windows just because. Maybe I don't want to do the round window. We'll do the other window. 
we'll use the square window. Oh, was I turned away? Yeah, I probably was under the table digging in the dang basket trying to find my... <laughs> Always trying to find my stuff, right? Okay. All right. So we're going to put some windows on here. And I think for the windows, we're going to use our Shimmer Harvest. Or do I want to use yellow? What do you guys think? Bright yellow? bright yellow or harvest. I think I'm going to do the a purple door. We have this, um, we got this at convention. So you can't buy this color, but it's a shimmer purple. It is so pretty. And I haven't used it yet, so I thought I would use it on this. But I want, I want the windows to be like a yellow of some sort. Connie says Shimmer Harvest. All right, we will go for that. I always get this all over me. Jana says yellow. Connie says harvest. We'll see. Chime in, y'all. What color are you thinking? So it's like a bumblebee yellow or the harvest shimmer. Okay, let's go ahead and do the door because I know I want my door purple. So all I have to do is grab a squeegee. This is the beautiful thing about Chalk Couture. It makes everybody an artist. If you can hold a squeegee and pull some paste through a screen, you can do this. So people, I have clients that have told me for years, gosh, Diane, I can't, I wish I could do what you do. I wish I could make the pretty things you make. And then when I started doing Chalk Couture, we do um, wine and sign. Of course, now that COVID's going, we're not, but um, they come over and have some wine. We show them how to use Chalk Couture and, and, um, and then they take a piece of art home that they made and they just can't even believe it. So then like the birthday club wants to come and it's just so fun. Okay. I'm trying not to put my hand on that hot craft iron. So I'm just covering all the screen and then scraping anything extra back and I'll put all that extra right back in the jar. So you really don't use very much. Again, you can find all our products at charmingchalkart.com. And I also put, um, if y'all haven't looked at our Club Couture program, it is amazing. You really should. It is really super amazing, and the net next month's transfer. So if you join, if you join this month, your Club Couture program won't start until next month. So we put these right back on the shiny side. I'll take these in and wash them after we're done on the live. I didn't bring any water in here with me, so I'm just going to stick it back on there and put it aside, and I will clean it later. You just clean them with just plain water. Wipe them down front and back, and then just wipe the back side of it down with a Clorox wipe. So what did we decide? Let's see, Joyce says harvest, Shay says harvest, Jana, yeah, okay, looks like your harvest has got it. So we're going to do harvest. Hey, Carol, how are you? Welcome, welcome. All right, so I've already mixed up my harvest, so I can just pop these on. So I'm just going to do the window, pick it up, and move it over and do the window on the other side. So if you have small transfers and you can move them quickly, you can get it all quickly done at once. I'm going to just measure, go over. Set it down. It's a haunted house, so if it's not totally symmetrical, it's okay. Okay, so we've got our windows. How 
quick is that? And I'll just set that aside and we will clean it later. So again, they go back on the shiny side of your transfer. Now I want to put a little ghost on here. I thought it would be really cute with a little ghost. So, we're going to get our shimmer white, our new shimmer white. I love our shimmer colors, guys. We just got a bunch of new shimmer colors and I'm loving them. And then I'm gonna pull off, so this, um, this is a transfer from last year, but I love this little ghost on here, so we're gonna use that. So I've used these many, many times. So I'm gonna fuzz it so it doesn't stick too, too hard. And then when you wipe it down with a disinfectant wipe, the sticky side, it just takes that fuzzing off. So we're gonna put a little, little ghost on here. I'm gonna try not to. Our shimmer paste takes a little bit longer to dry. I think this will look real cute. This is already mixed up also. Hello, Brenda from Ohio. How are you? Welcome, welcome. Thanks for coming. Hey, if any of you guys are first timers, could you put a, just a number one? I'd love to, to really welcome you to the page. I hope you enjoy being here. We got a great group of folks that come hang out and have fun. Okay, and then just pull that off and oh, there we go. We got a cute little ghost. And I'm just going to set that back on my backer sheet and I will wash it later. So I could have a towel out here and just, in fact, I'll probably will show you how to clean that. So this is our, let's go ahead and show you because we have new folks all the time that have not seen Chalk Couture and don't realize how fun and easy it is. So the paste dries within two to four minutes. Again, like I said, the shimmers take just slightly longer. But look how cute, I gotta show you how cute. How cute is that? Okay, so I think the other thing I wanna do on this, I'm gonna show you how to clean first though. So this is our fuzzing cloth. It's, it's a terry cloth towel on one side and it's a chenille on the other. This is the drying side so you can dry your um, our chalkboards off with it when you redo them but also you can clean your transfers on here. So I can just take that transfer, lay it down, take some water, spray it down with water. I'm gonna grab a little rag and just gently wash it off, front and back. And then I'm just gonna leave it to dry like that. And then I'll wipe that side down with a disinfectant wipe and it'll take the fuzzing that we initially put on off. And all the sticky comes back so you can reuse them. So that's how you clean, just that simple and easy. Okay, so I want to use this little spooky transfer. And I wanna put a couple of bats up here at the top. So we're gonna pop some, let me make sure that's dry first. Let's make sure it's dry. Let's see. Well, welcome Shay, welcome Carol. I'm Diane, it's very nice to meet you. I'll pull the camera up um, in a little bit and you'll be able to see my face. <laughs> I feel like if I'm looking at the camera, I can see y'all. It's crazy. So welcome, I'm so glad you're here. I hope you enjoy being here. Make sure to join our Charming Chalk Art VIP group if you would like to learn more about Chalk Couture. That is where our customer, uh, it's kind of our customer lounge. We hang out in there. 
You loving it, Wanda? We've got Team Charming Chalk in the house. Wanda is one of our designers on our team. I know, isn't that shimmer purple amazing? Welcome, welcome, Terry. So glad you guys are here. Okay, so now we're going to use our shimmer olive. Ooh, love that. And we're going to put some little bats up here. And I'm doing it before I put the roof on. So you can see I can rub my hands all over this now and it won't come off. But if I were to wash, wet this down, it probably wouldn't all wipe away off this surface. Um, but because this is a one-time use surface, let's see, how do I want to do? I think I'll bring it down a little lower right there. And I'm just going to grab the bats. But I thought, you know, it's a haunted house, so it's got to have bats, right? And we'll put them up high because, you know, bats in the belfry. I have that, right? <laughs> That's an old saying. Okay. So now we've got some shimmery green bats. Oh, that's so cute, you guys. Ah! Okay, I'm going to set this over here. And so I'm wiping off my squeegees and my utensils with baby wipes, but I never use baby wipes, never, never use baby wipes on your transfers. Baby wipes have oils in them and they will mess up your transfer. You just use plain old water and a disinfectant wipe. Okay, so now we've got that. All right, let's make our roof. So like I said, I decided, because this girl loves to do some decoupage, Love, love, love. So, we're going to use my sugar skull napkin. So, as much, many of you know me that I love, um, I love decoupage, I love ribbon, I have a ribbon problem, and um, I also have a napkin problem. So, you will find all our amazing napkins in our Etsy shop. And this is a new one this year, this sugar skull. So we're gonna decoupage this. So we, we put some decoupage glue on our little roof tiles. And I'm not even gonna need like much of this napkin at all. So I just wanna make sure I got a long enough piece. I'm just gonna cut out one square. That's all I'm gonna need. Save the rest for another project. Okay, so I'm going to separate the front from the back. My water. Easiest way to do that. So these are three ply. These the napkins I have. I've gotten them from the same supplier for years because I love to decoupage furniture and all kinds of things. But you just wet your fingers and pop it, and you want to pop both layers both of those white layers off so that you're left with just the pigmented part on the top. And you know a good napkin when it's hard to separate and you can see the pigment from the napkin on that second layer. That's how you know you got a good napkin. So we're going to stick these on here. And there's many ways to decoupage. I use probably every way that there is. But today we're gonna do it with a craft iron. And I'm looking for, oh, my parchment paper flew all the way on the other side of the table. So let me grab it. Hang on guys. I'm gonna try not to knock the camera down. I'm just going to take my parchment paper get rid of what I'm done with get things out of the way so you can see just this part I'm going to lay this down decide what 
parts of the napkin I want. Let's see, so we've got a lot of greens and golds and purples in here. So I'm gonna go this way. Okay. So I'm just deciding where I want it. And now I'm gonna lay this down and I'm gonna take my craft iron and I'm just gonna iron that. Making sure I'm getting every part of that roof tile. Won't that be cute on the roof, you guys? I think it'll be adorable. I think so. Okay, so we've got that done. So I'm going to go ahead and just cut cut that part out so I can do my other one while it cools down. Let's see. Now we'll do the same thing with the other one. And I'm gonna grab that blue skull right there. I wanna get some more of the flowers too. Let's see. Ooh, there's an orange one too. I like them all, you guys. Right there. Parchment paper and iron. Did I miss the part where you put the Mod Podge? I did that right at the, the beginning. I don't think you were on yet. Joyce. Yeah, so I put um, decoupage glue down and let it dry. So you wanna keep your, um, keep your iron moving so you don't burn your napkin. I don't wanna do that. to just file in one direction okay you don't want to file up and down because you'll you could lift your napkin so you're going to file in one direction let me pull you down closer so we're just going to file down and that will cut it right on the edge you could wrap it down around the edge of your your piece also if you wanted to just put some glue on the edges and wrap it down around but I want this a nice clean look on the edge okay so there is one of our roof tiles and now we'll do the other one and then we're gonna put one more coat of decoupage glue on these and let it dry. So let me get my decoupage glue and the brush back. And I'm just gonna put one more coat. And if you're gonna chalk over decoupage, you have to have this second coat on there. It will ruin your transfer. You will pull the paper up and ruin your transfer. So if you are decoupaging and then doing chalk tour, make sure to do not miss this step. on our little 
pumpkin while this is drying. So I try to get a nice smooth coat on there without a lot of ridges and bumps and just like that. Okay. Now I'm going to put this in the water because I'm all done with the glue. Let's see. Um, hard to find comments guys because the way Facebook is putting things up now they just show name after name after name let's see I saw that one is this a new way of decoupaging uh, Sue it's not new I've been doing this for years and years and years it you know not not everybody does it this way and like I said it depends on what I'm working on um, whether I do it this way or whether I do you know, the saran wrap little technique, or there's lots of different ways to decoupage. So um, it depends on what I'm working on, of how I do it. Um, Joyce, the roof tiles are one of our, this is what I made the roof tile out of, one of our um, little jar tags. Um, and all I did is uh, cut the top off and cut it in half. And that's how I got my door tap. Now you can cut the whole thing in half. I've seen people do that, but y'all know I'm like OCD and I want it like perfect. So I cut the part with the little hole off there and then cut it down the middle. So chalk couture gives me all the things I need. Okay, let's bring our little pumpkin back. And now we need to, we're gonna use some brown and we're gonna, we're gonna do a little more painting on this because I don't want it just all this bright orange. So we're gonna do a little, little bit of, get a little bit of shadowing on it. So again, we always mix our paste. We want it the consistency of cake batter or yogurt. I used to always say melty marshmallow fluff, but not everybody knew what that was. So just cake batter. So we're painting with our chalk paste today. So you don't need to go out and get a whole bunch of separate paints and all that stuff. You can just paint with our paste. So we're just gonna water it down. I need another brush, a little smaller brush. And we're gonna wet that. So whenever you're working with any water-based, I don't. it doesn't matter if it's decoupage glue, if it's stain, if it's paint, if it's chalk couture that's water-based, always wet your brush first. And I'm gonna put a little water in my dish and then just start mixing my paste to make it more like a paint. So it's, we're making chalk paint out of our paste, basically. So it'll dry quickly. And then I just wanna put some brown on the edges of this, just to give it some more dimension. Put some little little contour lines into the pumpkin. And we'll put a little bit of shadowing in there too. Just gonna soften those lines I just put in. But that looks so much better to me than just all one color. So you, 
you can use like a chip brush too. That'll give you a lot of um, like chippier lines. We're just gonna throw some down on the edges too. So I'm almost dry brushing. This brush is not real wet. Just getting some dimension into this pumpkin. Let's see. Hello, Yvette and Gloria and Barbara and Pamela and Rebecca. Hi, guys. You guys remember, if you um, sprinkle the video, make sure you come back and put the word Halloween, just the word Halloween, so I can put you in our little sprinkle drawing as my thank you. Everyone that sprinkles, we put them in drawing and then periodically pull a name out of the jar as a thank you and you'll get some happy mail. Okay, and now let's do the back side. Awesome, Jana. Thanks for the sprinkle, girl. Appreciate it. So I did put a pin post up. It does have a link to our Club Couture program as well as a link to our customer lounge, our VIP group, where you can learn all things Chalk Couture and hang out with a bunch of cool people. And that's where I run all my specials and things like that. Okay, so that's looking pretty good to me. Let's go ahead and sit it up so it'll dry. What did I get that into? Okay. All right, so we've got that. So now we've got a pumpkin that's looking a little more rustic. I like that. All right, now, Let's get these tiles dry. They're almost dry. They dry pretty fast. Oh, thanks, Christine. Floated my boat. I like that. Is that a new way to say sprinkle? I like that. <laughs> plan. I love that. So I hope you guys are liking our little haunted house. So I did, on this one, I've deliberately not done the backside because I'm going to do fall on the backside. So this is our little Halloween house. These are great to sit on a, an entry table, a side table, your mantle, a tiered tray. These are just perfect, but look how cute this is looking already with our little bats and shimmery and our boo ghost. Fun, fun. That is so cool, Christine. I've never heard that. <laughs> Girl, you can float my boat all day, every day. <laughs> I love that. Isn't that cute, Lourdes? I think it's so cute. And let's just go on and do a little Halloween. So I will be posting pictures of the lamp posts we did yesterday, and we also did the shoe cubby yesterday. So we chalk a tour on furniture yesterday, y'all. So go back and watch yesterday's video. If you didn't see it, so you want to make sure these are really dry before you um, mess with them anymore. So now you, we can put these tiles on just like this, but of course, you know, Diane's extra. So I'm going to do something a little extra. I'm going to unplug this and plug in my blow dryer. 
because I don't want those to get too hot because then they won't dry as well. So a cool blow dryer is, or a little fan, works really well. So when I'm doing um, wine glasses, I usually have a little, just a little fan sitting on my table and um, I just set them in front of the fan and that works really good to get them dry pretty quickly without making them hot. Sorry, it's loud. dry now so we're gonna do one more thing we're gonna put this little spider on the roof to make it look like it's coming down off the roof and it says eek and I think I can get this whole thing on here and we're just gonna do it in bright white That's really sticky. Y'all, I have used these, I can't tell you how many times, and they are still very sticky. We have good quality products that will last. I will tell you. Okay, so let me see how I'm gonna get this. I want this whole spider on there. His little legs will run off, but that's okay. Okay, let me get our, and I am gonna use the bright white because the shimmer white's not quite as white as our bright white. So again, cake batter consistency. If it's a little thick, which these are water-based, non-toxic, and organically pigmented, so some of them can be thicker than others because of the organic pigments. Um, but as you open and close the jar, water evaporates. So you will have to add some distilled water to your jar because you use very little paste for a project. And they're three ounce jars. So you just add a little bit of distilled water and stir it up till it's that cake batter consistency. Ooh, that's still stuck pretty hard. But there we go, look at that guys. It's that little spider that says eek! <laughs> awesome, all right. So fuzz, fuzz, fuzz. I should have fuzzed that a little bit more. And I had to pull hard, so it kind of wants to roll up on me. So these are a fabric. They're not a, a stencil. A stencil has a hole in them. These are an actual silk screen in there. So you want to um, not have to pull too hard on your transfer, and you also want to pull top to bottom or side to side. Okay, so we have our tiles done. Now let's, I think we're ready. I wanted to put a little transfer on here. So we're going to use our little pumpkin face. So again, this was our Halloween fun transfer last year. It was just a little A size transfer. And so we're just 
just going to put Beware and make this a little Halloween pumpkin. And we're going to do it in black. We've already used our black, so I know it's good to go. I'm going to grab a little on my squeegee and just cover the screen. And scrape back all the extra. And we'll just pull that up. Lickety split. I'm going to set that aside. I will do both sides of this pumpkin, but look how cute. I just love it. So I will do the other side of this, but we're going to get this side dry first so I can flip it over. Oh, wait a minute. I unplugged that and plugged this one. side. I'm just pushing it down, getting my fingers all messy. I think I use more baby wipes on me than on the babies. everything and scrape back. All right, we are in the home stretch. All right, so I'm going to need some moss. We're going to put this together and bring it home. Thanks for hanging in with me, guys. I hope you're enjoying. Throw me up some hearts if you're liking it. I'd appreciate that. Okay, so now we're gonna put our roof on our house. So I'll turn it around so you can see. Wait just a sec. Figure out which side I want here. All right, we're gonna go this way. Okay. So I'm gonna grab some. So I'm gonna make this. So you could make it flush. So it's flush meaning it's flat with the back, but I'm going to do the back um, a probably, well, I maybe I won't now because I did my tiles, because I was going to make this um, kind of a harvest, but I could still do that. I can still do something separate on there, but I'm going to make it to the middle, and we're going to use some um, hot glue. And we're going to use some Rapid Fuse. So I'm going to run some Rapid Fuse up the house in a few places. And then I'm going to put some hot glue. Let me turn it around so you can see. set our house little roof tile down. Make sure I'm in the middle. Both places. Let's you all know I'm an eyeballer from way back. I give it a good push. Okay, so we've got one side on. And now we're gonna do our other side. Same way. A little rapid fuse, my go-to when I'm doing center pieces and things like that. I use this all the time. And then a little hot glue makes it stick like right now so that I can let go of it because those of you that know me know that I want everything to do go fast, fast, fast. A little hot glue. Now I'm going to line up our tile. and press it down. And I'm going to take 
to look on this side, make sure I'm not real lopsided or anything. Push it down. And there we have our little sugar skull roofed haunted house. <laughs> Guys, this came out so cute. This came out so cute. Look how stinking cute that is. <laughs> okay, let's finish our, sorry, I get excited. All right, so how we're gonna finish our little pumpkin is with a stick. So I go get little sticks and I love little sticks with moss on them and I spray them down with alcohol, but I think they're so fun. So we're gonna get a little stick that's gonna be the top of our pumpkin. Let's see. I usually cut these on my bandsaw. This is a little bit long. Let me see if I can manhandle it. Isn't that cute, Jana? <laughs> so it truly says so cute. Oh my gosh, I love it. Okay, come on now. There, got it. Okay. <laughs> Tore it apart. That's okay. That's all right. All right. So I gotta grab my bag of moss. Hang on. Let's see. So I just got, this is, I stick my centerpieces and things in here to add moss so I don't make a mess. So I'm just going to grab a few little sprigs of my moss. So these, this house and this pumpkin would look so cute in a centerpiece. I may have to make that happen. I may have to make that happen. Just gonna kind of roll that together. Actually, let me glue this on first. So again, I'm going to my rapid fuse and my hot glue. Pull you down a little closer. I'm just giving it a dot of rapid fuse. And a little dot of hot glue. Okay. Kind of offside a little bit. I like it. All right. And I'm going to add some more hot glue around it, and we're going to put the moss on there. careful with hot glue you guys you can get some serious serious burns no bueno okay oh he's so cute <laughs> oh my goodness okay <laughs> look how cute he is all right so the other thing we're going to add is, and I think because we have the, so much of the shimmer, I'm going to use a little shimmer rope on here. So I make these little curlies and this one's got glitter on it. It's like a gold glitter, but this is going to be our pumpkin stem. going to cut a piece of it off and we're going to wrap that around the stem
drop of glue. Almost looks like he's got a little curly Q on his on his uh, on his forehead. <laughs> oh God, guys, I'm having too much fun. I'm just having too much fun. Okay, guys, there we go. So we've gotten a little little Halloween in. Let me open this up so I can see you guys. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, let me clean up and then I'll give you a good shot of what we got here. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed it and I inspired you or taught you a trick or a tip or I just made you laugh because I'm kind of a hot mess with my hair on fire most of the time. Okay. Always got a sweep. Y'all, I haven't turned my room back around yet since I had to move it to do the furniture with you yesterday. So I just left it. All right, so there we go. There is our sugar skull roofed haunted house and our little pumpkin. <laughs> you know, Jana, I was, I was gonna put them, um, on a little, you know, a ma my mantle display, but I don't know. I think I might put these in a centerpiece. I think they would be so cute in a centerpiece. Wouldn't that be fun to build a whole centerpiece around those? And then, of course, I think I will, because I did the sugar skull roof, I'll go ahead and, and do the other side. I'll just paint this black, but it, you could be double sided. So that's why I was thinking this could be in a centerpiece because you'll have it double sided, right? and then set that next to it. I, I just think that would be a perfect little centerpiece. So I may have to make that happen. You love them. <laughs> well, thanks guys. Thanks for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed yourself. I sure enjoyed you. Um, to all the new folks, um, I hope I wasn't too crazy for you and I hope you um, enjoyed your time here. Make sure that you ask to be in our Charming Chalk Art VIP group, which is the link is posted. Um, it's for our customers, not for Chalk Couture Independent Designers, so um, make sure you answer the questions um, when you go ask to be in. And I'm in there every Thursday live. That's where I do a lot of um, live sales. Again, I, like I said, I, um, I was supposed to be a vendor at Wreath Makers Live, which then didn't happen, and I had another show that got canceled. So I have a lot of inventory, and so I'm probably going to even do a live sale on the main page. So. Um, sometime this week so wait you know just pay attention um, but every Thursday at 5 o'clock West Coast time so live at 5 is what I call it it's on Thursday night um, sometimes I do a project and I have sell a kit or a bundle or you know I never know what I'm gonna do till till usually the day before and then I'm like okay that's what I'll do so um, yeah all right guys have a blessed rest of your Sunday and I'll see you guys all again real soon bye